Hey everybody, General Gray here. Thanks again for stopping by to watch another video. I really appreciate it. Um, right now I'm playing some hardcore kill confirmed and I do pretty good on it. I, sh I wish I'd have been able to get a little bit more, uh, a few more tags, but unfortunately the way the game was playing out, I decided not to go after a couple of tags and a couple of times uh, I got killed before I could get to tags. So I decided not to go for all of them all the time. Uh, and I know that I always talk about the objective and playing objective based modes that you should be going after the objective. And most of the time I do. Uh, you'll see a couple times here where I literally shoot the guy and turn around and it's usually because of the placement of where I kill them at. And that just made me decide not to go after the tags. But I start off pretty good here and I have a pretty good uh, KD I think for me anyway. It's not the greatest out there. Like I said before, I'm not the greatest player by any means. I just play it because I really enjoy uh, playing uh, playing video games. This is uh, probably one of my favorite. Uh, I have another game that I've been playing a lot of lately too, but I haven't recorded it. I'm not sure if people want to see it or not. So I haven't recorded it, unfortunately, but I'm going to start doing that soon, I think. As soon as I get my new graphics card and new uh, power supply, I'm, hopefully my computer should be faster by then, and it should be fast enough to be able to handle the graphics of the game without having to play it on some garbage settings. I play it on garbage settings right now because the game is a lot of fun, but I really cannot wait to get the new graphics card and power supply so that I can make this make the make videos of it. It's just an awesome game. It's called Ark Survival Evolved. It's on the Steam Network. Uh, and when I bought it, it was about, tw I want to say $29. But every once in a while, if you guys go to Steam and check them out, they uh, they have specials on games. Sometimes they'll sell the game. as The lowest I've seen it was $17.99 for the game. And I think that it was well worth every penny of, of $17.99. I mean, I, I paid, I think, $29.99 for it, and it's such a fun game. A lot of a lot of different stuff on what to do and how to... different routes you can take and different uh, ways you can play the game. It's an open-based world game and open-world-based game, I should say. Kind of like Seven Days to Die and stuff like that. I guess it's kind of like Minecraft from what people tell me. I didn't find Minecraft to be too interesting to me. Uh, it's not saying that it's a bad game by any means, because I know there's a ton of people that play Minecraft, but it's not a game that really appealed to me, so I decided uh, not to buy that game. I'm thinking about buying it because my wife wants to start playing some games, and she was thinking about it because it was so popular. And like I said, I'll give it a try if I buy it for her, but if I don't, then I probably won't try it. And it's not because, like I said, it's not that it's a bad game. It's just not a game that seems... Uh, it doesn't really seem like a lot of fun to me. I don't like that kind of graphics, to be honest. Uh, but I can see how people find it addicting and, and fun to play. But for me, it's just not my cup of tea. But uh, I'm looking for other games to play that people want to play together online, whether it's on Steam or the Xbox. Uh, I'm actually debating about buying, what's that game called that everybody's been playing? Grand Theft Auto. I've been really debating about buying Gra Grand Theft Auto, but it just, like I said, it doesn't seem... I mean, it's open open world and all that kind of good stuff, which I do like, but I'm not sure if it's really, you know, my cup of tea. Uh, I've played some of the other ones and they were fun, but it was too much other stuff that you could do. Not Not saying that it's like a strict game, but there's so many things that you could do that I didn't do the missions. I was just trying to earn money to be able to buy better cars and stuff, and you have to put a lot of time into that game from what I remember. It might be a little bit different now, but when I was playing it a few years ago, quite a few years ago, I want to say about, I want to say six years ago or so, it was, it just wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't for me. It wasn't a bad game. The graphics were pretty cool, and the idea was really awesome, but... It just didn't fit for me, so I didn't actually do it. But the some other games, I mean, but if there's going to be a group of people that want to play a lot, then that would be something I would be really, really interested in and playing games with other people, and you know, have like especially the open worlds, like um, Seven Days to Die or uh, Ark Survival Evolved, some games like that. Whether it's on the Xbox or it's on PlayStation or it's on uh, a PC, 
and I mean place an Xbox One, Xbox 360, or PS4. I do not have a PS3, and I'm not going to be buying one, uh, only because I really want to get my computer to be, uh, I want to I wanna make my computer pretty pretty bad. I want to make it pretty nice, so, and it, it's kind of expensive to do that, so I don't want to spend the money on an Xbox, or a PlayStation 3, sorry. But I do have an Xbox One, Xbox 360, and the PS4, and a PC, so if there's a game that you would recommend, I'll look into it and possibly uh, look into that game and see about buying it. And uh, we'll check it out and see if we can play together, and and that would be a lot of fun. I, I love playing, especially the open, ma open world based games. I really like most of them so far that I have seen, that I've tried. Uh, so. Let me know what you guys think, and I will look into that. And back to the game. We are doing pretty good. I got a the, the Hardened Sentry, and I love the Hardened Sentry. It's actually a pretty fun score streak to run, or, or get, I should say, because I don't run the high score streaks because I don't do well enough, and I can't put uh, su support on anymore like I used to be able to do in some of the other CODs. So I, I couldn't do that, so I decided to just run the low yeah, ones because I can I can get the low ones sometimes. Not all the time. I'm not that great of a player. I don't ever. It is rare. I've got a couple of videos where I'm like 24 and 26 and two and three deaths, which is for me is outstanding. I know there's a lot of people out there that are just I mean beasts of players, and, and I'm not that good, so I just don't run those score streaks because for me it's just a, a waste of. A slot I could use it for something else such as you know more gun attachments or something else I just lose them too much so I don't use them I actually I don't think you can't do that in this one that's advanced warfare my bad but either way uh, I just don't want to use the high ones because if I if I can't get them then there's there's really no point in trying to uh, use them if I'm not gonna even get them so I, I don't even bother trying but anyway this this game plays a lot. I, I love this game. This game is just a lot of fun. It is a lot more fun when nobody's camping, but it's a lot of fun. I think they did really well with it. I think the uh, I think the guns are awesome. The maps, most of the maps are really, really good. Some of the maps are just eh, okay. But for the most part, I don't think there's any map that I actually hate. Uh, un unlike Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 2, there's a couple maps that I just absolutely hated, and it was primarily because of the way the map was laid out. It just led to too many spots to sit in corners, and I've said it in my other videos, Xbox One is a lot worse for campers than PS4, and I think that's why a lot of YouTubers, I think, this is, this is just my opinion of it, I think that's why a lot of YouTubers prefer the PS4 over the Xbox One is because it's a lot more fun and I do the, the same reason I play the video games is the same reason I do YouTube. I love it. I actually have a lot of fun with it. I've been getting better at YouTube. Uh, I know that I have a lot to work on still and I have a lot, long way to go to be perfect but I'm still working on it but I have a fun with it and, and I've been watching these videos of people you know what what's how to get good at YouTube and all this and I watch the videos um, this is not a how to get good at YouTube because I have no reason to tell anybody. I have so few subscribers, which I'm grateful for. I have very, uh, I have very few views. I don't, I don't even think I hit 1,500 views yet, and I got about 105 or 107 videos. And but I just do it because I have fun doing it. And the people that do uh, put. Me messages down there and chat and all that kind of stuff i actually read it and i enjoy reading them and and getting the feedbacks from people i think it helps make me a, a better player or not better player but a better commentator which i know i still have a lot to work on but that comes with time but they say the number one thing they say to do to get better at youtube is have fun if you're not having fun doing something then it, you don't get better. It's just like work and everything else. I, I don't like what I do, but I do it because I'm good at it. But I think that if you if you enjoy it, it's a lot better. But this is something I enjoy. If I could make this a full-time job, I would do it in a heartbeat. I, I love doing it. I love making the videos. I love getting the feedbacks and the critiques, the criticism. I actually like the criticism because it reminds me of what I need to work on to get better 
so more people enjoy my videos. The more people that enjoy them, the better off I am. Uh, but it, it's just more fun. The more subscribers that I see people have, you can tell who really, really enjoys doing YouTube. Um, you got Slipgator, uh, SL1PG8R, and then you got 402 Thunder 402. Uh, those two YouTubers, as well as Ali A, you can tell the way they do their videos and all that kind of stuff. Even their gameplay, while they're doing live commentaries and stuff like that, you can tell they enjoy it because uh, of their 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 persona as they're talking about it, and that is what really makes it really kind of cool, I think. And the more fun you have, the better you're gonna do. But I hope you guys enjoy this commentary and gameplay. Let me know what you guys think, and I hope to catch you on my next video really soon. Until then, peace.